name is Brenda Miles. I'm a child psychologist, and I'm very excited to share a book with you that I have written called Avocado Feels a Pit Worried. This book is illustrated by the wonderful Monica Filipino, and it's published by the very supportive folks at Imagination Press, which is the children's book publishing division of the American Psychological Association. Now, why would I call a book about worry and an avocado a pit worried? Is this a typo? Actually, it's not. When you look inside an avocado, you'll find a big, round, round seed. And that seed is called a pit. And you're going to see this seed a lot in the pages of this book once I start reading. And it's funny because when adults or, or even kids or teens talk about feeling worried, sometimes they'll say, I have this funny feeling like butterflies in the pit of my stomach. So when I thought about what I would call this book, and I knew I wanted to have an avocado who was worried, it seemed like a good choice to say this avocado feels a pit worried because he feels a lot of worry in the pit of his stomach rather than saying he's a bit worried. And I'll tell you, once you meet this avocado, once I start reading, you're going to figure out pretty quickly that he's worried about a lot of things and it's more than just a bit. So welcome. I'm really excited to read this story to you. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you learn lots too that's really helpful to you. Let's get started. Avi feels a pit worried. Avi is an anxious avocado. He worries about everything. What if it's cloudy? What if it's rainy? What if it's sunny? So Avi stays inside, away from everything that scares him. Thump thud. What was that? asks Avi. His heart pounds, his skin sweats, fear swells in the pit of his stomach. What if something fell from the sky? What if something is broken? What if I never know what happened? Avi tiptoes to the window. He peeks outside. Avi gasps. What is that? What if it's dangerous? What if it bites? What if it never goes away? Days pass and Avi keeps thinking, about the round and worryful thing outside his window. What if I make it disappear? Will my worries disappear too? Avi takes a deep breath and dares to go outside. Dig, dig, this is scary. Roll, roll, berry, berry, woo done, now run. After that, it rains and rains and rains. Avi hides inside. But feeling worried for so long starts feeling lonely. Thump thud. What was that? asks Avi. Hi, I'm Avril. I jumped from the tree you planted. Avi gasps. A tree? Want to play? asks Avril. What if you don't like me? asks Avi. And, and what if that new big, big tree gets in our way? Hmm. What if I throw and you catch? asks Avril. Maybe I could try that, whispers Avi. And that's exactly what they do. And Avi feels a little less lonely. Thump thud, thump thud. More avocados jump from the tree. Hi, I'm Axel. What if you hide and I seek? I'm Adeline. What if you build and we paint? Artie and Avery here. What if you strum and we dance? I'm Al, just Al. What if you climb and we cheer? At first, Avi feels anxious. I think I can, he says. Some of those things could be fun. As Avi tries more and more, his worries get smaller and his courage gets bigger. I feel wonderful, says Avi. I have friends all around. Now Avi says yes to all kinds of things because not all what ifs are worryful. Some can be wonderful. Today, Avi is an adventurous avocado. He makes up his own wonderful what ifs. What if we jump up and roll down? 
Avocado Avalanche, Wee! That was fun, Avi. You're on a roll. What should we do now? Asked the avocados. What if we party with chips and guacamole? Shouts Avi. What? The avocados gasp. Now they feel worried. Um, Avi, whispers Avril. Guacamole is made from avocados. Gulp. Avi feels worried, but not for long. Well, what if we party with chips and dip then? And that's exactly what they do. Hooray! Chips and dip, but a dip in a pool. Avi takes a big, bold plunge. Splash! I have to say, I absolutely love the last page of this book. Monica Filipino made a wonderful surprise for me in this book. When I was thinking about this story in this picture, I was thinking, well, they're going to take a dip in a pool. And a pool has blue water, right? But Monica surprised me. She thought really carefully about the story and she added a wonderful what if. She thought, what if I add a surprise on this page and make it a pool of red orange salsa? instead of water. And that's a really fun and creative example of how to make wonderful what ifs in anything that you're doing. I hope you enjoyed this story. I really loved writing a book about what you can do when you feel worried and about changing worryful what ifs to wonderful what ifs. Thanks for listening and keep feeling wonderful what ifs especially when you start thinking about worryful ones. Now it's time for a craft. When I thought about what I could do for this book about feelings and feeling worried, I thought I'd use my favorite material, which always makes me feel calm. And that material is felt. Felt is soft and fuzzy, and it seemed perfect for a book on feelings because people talk about how they felt. So here is my favorite felt craft for this book. This is an avocado done in different shades of green and you can see that big round brown pit right in the middle. And that's where Avi felt a lot of his worries in the pit of his stomach. So what I thought that you could do with something like this, if you make this craft, is make this an avocado moodometer. What do I mean by that? Well, you can use this round brown pit as an indicator of how you're feeling any time, any day. So what I did was I cut a whole bunch of felt pieces in different colors. I love colors, so I cut a lot of them. You can think about what color represents what mood for you. That's entirely up to you and that's part of the fun. I love purple. So when I'm feeling happy and creative as I'm crafting, I could put this purple piece on that avocado moodometer. Some days I feel a little blue. And on those days I think about what do I need to do to make me feel a bit better? And maybe that's listening to music. Maybe that mood is pink or reading a book, which always makes me feel sunny. Or how about writing a book, which is one of my favorite things to do with Imagination Press. Maybe I'll use purple for that feeling because I love purple. So you can use your moodometer at any time to gauge how you're feeling and to let people know how you're feeling too. Now, speaking of people who care very much how you feel, like teachers or caregivers or brothers and sisters or adults, there are more ideas for how to help you feel less worried and more calm and comfortable and even more brave around things that scare you. And these ideas are at the back of the book. And thank you to the publisher who knows that I like to give parents and caregivers and adults lots of ideas for helping kids. 
So they made sure that they fit all of my words, and there are lots of details and strategies in here on several pages. So remember, the key is when you start thinking about worryful what-ifs, to remember that the world is also filled with wonderful what-ifs. Now, I'm going to share a wonderful what-if with you right now. I wonder if there's a surprise cover under the jacket of this book. You want to check it out with me? Here we go. What if there's something different? Ta-da! What a wonderful what if for any reader who takes that chance and looks under the cover. There's a surprise. Thank you for listening to me read this book, for learning more about worries and changing worryful what ifs to wonderful what ifs. I hope you find this book really, really helpful. It was a pleasure writing it for you.